Nearly one year ago, Bonner General's obstetrics unit shut down, causing women and families to lose their doctors and access to essential health care. This inspired a new exhibit called The Worth of a Woman. Bronte Sorotsky explains. If you're in Sandpoint this month, you'll likely see this exhibit in town detailing the state of women's health care in Idaho and nationwide. It's meant to continue the conversation around how this town no longer has access to reproductive health care. If we're not talking about it, we're not fighting for it. It being that women in the Sandpoint area now have to drive 44 miles to give birth and receive pre and postnatal care. Around this time last year, Bonner General closed its obstetrics unit. As the community deals with the major loss, the Pro Voice project has been working to amplify the voices of those affected by it. Because the fear is that the longer we go without this kind of care, the more that just becomes normal and people accept it as just the way things are, that you need to travel to Coeur d'Alene or to Spokane for care. That's the reasoning behind this Worth of a Woman exhibit. So we have statistics on maternal mortality in the United States as well as in Idaho. Over half of maternal deaths are from mental health and I think that surprises a lot of people. Anyone stopping by the Bluebird Bakery will get a glimpse at some harrowing statistics about the state of women's health care locally and around the nation. One local woman says she wants to see more conversations about this issue that deeply affects her. As I'm approaching an age where starting a family is becoming really um, a serious consideration because it doesn't feel accessible or safe to do it here. Those behind the exhibit hope this data can enact real change. You know, our healthcare system is really, really vulnerable right now, and, and we need to be able to talk about that and address it. Next month, the Pro Voice Project is teaming up with the Idaho Humanities Council to host conversations about women's health care and worth in Idaho. Reporting in Sandpoint, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now.